it's Kristen and this is the anti-TBR tag. So I've seen a few people do this tag recently and I just thought it was kind of interesting so I wanted to give it a go. Um, so I've got the questions down here so when I'm looking down here that's what I'm looking at. Um, so these are all just questions about things that you don't think you're ever going to read, that aren't ever going to make it onto your TBR, that kind of thing. Question one is a popular book that everyone seems to love but you just have no interest in reading. And I'm going to say Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, I believe it is. I just, the plot doesn't intrigue me. I've heard lots of people say it's really good, but I don't know, there's just like nothing about the plot grips me at all. It's all like, I think two people who are uh, friends who create some sort of tech together and I just, I don't know, there's nothing that grips me. I mean, feel free to tell me in the comments that I'm wrong. <laughs> um, but I just, there's nothing about it that interests me. So I don't see myself ever reading that. And even if I think I did go, maybe I'll give it a go. Like, I don't know, there's just loads more books that I would want to read that would just trump that that even if I did like own it or anything I just think it would be one of those books that I've never got around to reading so controversially uh, I just have no interest in reading that. Question to a classic book or author that you have no interest in reading and I'm gonna say Ernest Hemingway as an author. Again he's just like he doesn't appeal to me um, I don't read a ton of classics. I used to read a lot of classics when I was younger uh, and when I was like studying literature in school. Um, but the classics I do gravitate towards, if I'm being honest, tend to be written by women. Um, I love Jane Austen, I read the Brontes, um, Elizabeth Gaskell, uh, those are very much more my kind of classics than someone like Ernest Hemingway. So I'm not going to say like never, I'm not going to say I would never read an Ernest Hemingway, he's just one that like if I think to pick up a classic he's not going to be one that I go to. I have other classic authors that I would go to far above him. Again, he's like very low on the list that like I'm interested in getting to. Um, but if you have read Hemingway and you do like him, um, like what's your favourite Hemingway book? And maybe in the future <laughs> I will read something by him. Question three is like in a couple of parts. It's an author whose book you have no interest in reading and a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. They were like, you can answer them separately or like combine it. Um, so a like problematic author I have no interest in reading uh, would be Colleen Hoover. I'm not gonna go into all the problematic things that she's done. There's <laughs> articles and videos on YouTube about stuff that she's done or said. Um, just all of her books just have no interest to me. So often they're classed as romance but there's like nothing actually romantic about them or they're all very toxic relationships and I know that in is it, it ends with us like it's actually supposed to be a toxic relationship and it's supposed to be seen as abusive but I know that some people still don't see it that way which worries me um but also I feel like you can't claim that that relationship is supposed to be abusive when actual romantic couples in other books of hers have 
similarities or have done like very dodgy things um also just from like stuff I've seen and heard and bits I've read uh or like seen on Twitter or YouTube um her writing just doesn't seem like my kind of thing uh so I I never envision myself ever reading anything by Colleen Hoover. I know she's very popular. I, I, not my kind of thing. Question four, an author you've read a couple of books from but you've decided they're not for you. It pains me to say this but um, I think for me that's Neil Gaiman. My favourite thing by Neil Gaiman that I've read was Good Omens but that was him and Terry Pratchett writing together then I enjoyed that well enough I then read The Ocean at the End of the Lane didn't really like it uh, I read his Norse mythology um, like short story kind of situation and didn't really like it either so like they were both the solo books of his that I read were both like two 2.5 stars and then the book that he wrote with Terry Pratchett was like three 3.5 so to me that means that Terry Pratchett was maybe doing some of the heavy lifting for my taste um so like I've not had success with Neil Gaiman books so I just I don't think he's for me which is a shame because like I follow him on um online on social media and he seems like really caring and seems really nice and uh really values his fans and things and he seems funny um I did like the episode of Doctor Who he wrote years ago I really liked that episode <laughs> but that's like my favorite thing that he's done um, so I just think he's not an author for me. I don't see myself picking up anything else from him unless like the plot sounds so up my alley or something like that. But yeah, Neil Gaiman tried it and I didn't love him. Question five, a genre you have no interest in or a genre you couldn't get into? For me, I I will try like a lot of genres. There's not a fiction genre that I really dislike. So I had to, this is a bit of a cop out. I'm gonna say um, non-fiction self-help. Like those books just have no pull for me. I don't think I will ever read a self-help book. Uh, um, yeah bit of a cop-out answer but that's literally the only thing I don't think I would ever try reading. Question six, a book you bought but will never read, it can be one you've unhauled or like returned to the library unread. Uh, yeah this for me is Red Hill by Jamie Maguire. Uh, when I was younger I read Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire and like found it fun and quick to read and you know interesting at the time in hindsight like oh my god no <laughs> no that book was so toxic um but then I saw a book for like a discount in a store uh by Jane Maguire and it was like apocalyptic and I was like oh that sounds interesting and then I just like never read it never read it never read it uh, and then all the stuff came out about Jamie Maguire being like very, um, very Republican, pro-Trump, stuff to do with like the Capitol storming um, and just like being really, really problematic, toxic. Um, so I <laughs> didn't want any part of that. Um, so I unhauled that book and will never read it or anything else by her. So that's my answer for that one. Seven, a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and DNF'd. 
Uh, a series I have no interest in reading. Again, this is going to be really controversial <laughs> to some people. Um, I have no interest in reading the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas or like any Sarah J Maas series really. Um, I was intrigued years ago when like Throne of Glass first came out um, and then my sister read it and she said that like she really enjoyed the first few books and then it sort of started to go off for her um, but the Court with Thorns and Roses stuff just like the concept of it sounds like something I would like but from like videos I've seen where people have read it or like stuff I've seen about it I just think not for me again one of those ones that's like not for me all of these things again not for me it's fine if you like it just not my thing I don't think um so yeah they can be on your TBR but they won't be on mine and that's okay <laughs> Um, and lastly, question eight, a new release you have no interest in reading. Again, I like this is going to be controversial. I've seen this everywhere, like Instagram, YouTube. I don't have TikTok, but I know that TikTok's going crazy for it. Um, and that's Fourth Wing. I have a slight intrigue, like I love a good dragon book. And I feel like there's not a ton of actually good dragon books. Um, but I'm, I don't see myself reading this like whilst it's hyped up, like I've not bought into the hype. And I'm not going to say like, never, I'm not going to say I would never ever read this. Um, but I just, I don't see myself reading it anytime soon like maybe if I saw it in the library I'd pick it up just to like see what the hype is but like story wise I'm not super fussed um yeah it's just one that I'm not particularly interested in getting to anytime soon and I feel like once the hype dies down I'll just sort of forget about it <laughs> maybe um but yeah so that is it those are all the questions if you feel like doing this or answering the questions below like that would be interesting um again these are all just my opinions it's fine if you like these books i just it's me hi i'm the problem <laughs> um yeah just my personal tastes and interests and opinions so thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!